Okay, we've got some more questions about the probability of selecting different things from a 52-card deck. This is coming from section 11.6, and I'm going to do numbers 27, 29, and 30. So number 7 is asking us what the probability is of selecting a 7 or selecting a red card. So the first thing let's do is figure out how many 7s there are in the deck. How many 7s are there in a 52-card deck? There are four of them. Seven of hearts, seven of clubs, seven of diamonds, seven of spades. How many red cards are there in the deck? Well, there are 13 hearts and 13 diamonds, right? So that's 26, and I'm not going to write this in blue yet. So there are, um, hopefully we can read it, 26 red cards in the deck. But we've already counted two of them because two of these sevens are red. There's a seven of hearts and a seven of diamonds included in the four that we counted here. So what we need here is actually 26 minus the two that we already counted, which gives us 24. Okay, so there are 24 red cards that we hadn't counted already, so that we don't get any duplicates. So 4 plus 24, that's going to give us 28. Our sample space is that full 52 card deck, 28 out of 52, which is going to simplify to 7 over 13. Okay? So when we're looking at these, and we have an or, and there might be duplicates in the things that we're looking at, we need to make sure that if we've counted it here, that we don't count it again here, okay? So let's try this with number 29. What's the po probability of selecting a heart or a picture card? How many hearts are in the deck? Well, for any suit, the answer is always 13. There are 13 hearts in that deck of cards. Okay, how many picture cards are there in the deck? We have to be careful with this because some people get a little bit confused, but the picture cards are Jack, Queen, and King. Those are the only picture cards. So there are three picture cards, four suits of picture cards. So I've got the Jack, Queen, King of Hearts, Jack, Queen, King of Diamonds, Jack, Queen, King of Spades, Jack, Queen, King of Clubs. So that's 12. 3 times 4 is 12, but I already counted all three of the hearts, right? Okay, so I'm going to write this here. There are 12 picture cards... but we already counted three. We already counted all of the hearts. Already counted three. So we have 12 minus three. That's nine. So 13 plus nine. 13 plus nine is going to give us 22 over 52. Remember, 52 is our sample space. 22 over 52, we can simplify that to 11 over 26. Okay? So we had to be careful here. There are 13 hearts in the deck. There are 12 picture cards, but three of those picture cards we already counted here. So you have to be careful not to double count those when you're trying to figure out the probability. So let's look at number 30. This one has more words. It seems like it might be more complicated, but it's really not. We need a card greater than 2 and less than 7. So for a card to be greater than 2 or less than 7, it has to be a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6, right? And there are four threes, four fours, four fives, and four sixes. So if we count all of the suits, we have... 16 cards that are greater than 2 and less than 7. All right? Plus we need to figure out how many diamonds there are. Okay? Well, there are 13 diamonds in the deck, so we have 13 diamonds. But we counted 4 of them already over here. We have already counted the 3 of diamonds, the 4 of diamonds, the 5 of diamonds and the 6 of diamonds. So we need 13 diamonds minus the 4 we counted already 
That's going to give us 9. 16 plus 9 is going to give us 25 out of the 52 card deck. And that's the probability of drawing a card greater than 2 and less than 7. So this is a little bit more complicated than some of the other stuff we've done. I'll go over it. If you're solid on it, you can hit stop now. But if you want to go over it again, we'll take another look. We want to know in 27 the probability of drawing a 7 or a red card. Well, there are four 7s in my deck of cards. There are also 26 red cards in the deck of cards. 13 hearts, 13 diamonds but we've already counted two of them because there are two red sevens. So we need 26 minus 2, which is 24. 4 plus 24 gives us the 28 outcomes, those 28 successes out of the 52 possible outcomes. And if you reduce that, you get 7 over 13, but you don't have to reduce. Hearts, so the probability of drawing a heart or a picture card, uh, drawing a heart, there are 13 hearts in the deck. There are 12 picture cards in the deck, but we already counted three of them, so we need 12 minus 3 equals 9. And we counted three of them already because three of them were counted in these 13 hearts. 13 plus 9 is 22. 22 out of 52 is 11 out of 26. And that's the probability there. Now for cards greater than 2 and less than 7, that's 3, 4, 5, and 6 are the possible values. There are 4 3s, 4 4s, 4 5s, 4 6s. So that makes 16 cards total, right? 4 of each, I'll even write that there, 4 of each equals 16 cards. Uh, the, prob or the probability of diamonds, well there are 13 diamonds in the deck, but we already counted four of them over here. We counted the, f the three of diamonds, the four of diamonds, the five of diamonds, and the six of diamonds already. So we can't count them again. 13 minus 4 is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25 out of the 52 possible outcomes that could happen there. And that cannot be simplified, so that's your answer. And that is probability of selecting from a 52 card deck with, uh, with some possible repetition where the things that they're asking about might be repeated so you have to take that into account.